They are these towering structures emitting a beacon of light to guide boats and ships safely into harbor at night. Well, we found these lighthouses in one really unlikely place, a man-made lake in the middle of the desert. The Lighthouse Club started in 2000 by a group of boaters who wanted to help other boaters by adding navigation lights to the lake. Instead of just sticking them on a post like the ones that a few that we have are, we decided to put them out there on the top of historic and traditional lighthouses. And so the Lighthouse Club took off. It's, a, it's just a community of people that are interested in maintaining history, if you will. Lighthouses are a big part of not only American history, but world history. The Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the world, was a lighthouse. The Statue of Liberty was a, one of the first lighthouses in New York Harbor. And lighthouses were put into, in place to guide mariners. And at one time, that was the, a major means of transportation. They're all replicas of famous lighthouses in the United States and now in Canada. We've gone international and we have a reproduction of a Canadian lighthouse. So we have a theme that East Coast lighthouses are on the East Coast of the lake and West Coast lighthouses on the West Coast of the lake. On the island are all the Great Lakes lighthouses. The lights that we have in the, in the lights that are for navigation, which are the red and green lights, which are the Coast Guard designated colors, we put in three and a half mi nautical mile range lights in there. The, flashing amber lights, which are a sign of a safe harbor where a boater can find refuge or help or other campers or some kind of help if he were in need of it, uh, those lights have a range of about uh, 10 to 15 miles. They're all about 17 to 22 feet tall, and that's kind of our, our goal for the ones that we got. We do have one that's 30 feet tall, that's Cape Hatteras. The real Cape Hatteras in North Carolina is the, is the largest li lighthouse in the United States, so it's also the largest lighthouse on Lake Havasu. This lighthouse is the Currituck Lighthouse. This in Currituck Beach, North Carolina. This is the one of the lighthouses on the Outer Banks, and this lighthouse was built in the 1700s. We've had people come from all over the world now to, to look at our lighthouses. We're now on all the major lighthouse websites that describe where lighthouses are. Lake Havasu now has more lighthouses in Lake Havasu than 15 of the states that have lighthouses.